Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to rig in and animate character talking with After Effects and Do It Basin 2. Let's get started. So, vectors from freebie.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, go to project and right mouse, import, file. Select this woman character, change import as composition return light size, click import and open woman composition then let's select this eyeball and eye white eye brown nose and lips let's pair onto this here select this here go to solo and click this icon for see background then click this icon and move the anchor point down click section tool and unsolo let's press air let's see Okay, good. So, select this here, let's pair onto this body and select body, go to solo. Let's move the anchor point down, click section tool and unsolo. Let's select this hand left, go to solo and go to select puppet pin icon. Let's add one puppet here and one here and one here. Then click station tool and change puppet engine legacy. Click OK. And let's select this hand right. Go to solo. Let's again select puppet pin. Add one puppet here, one here, and one here. Click station tool. Again change puppet engine legacy. And now let's unsolo this hand right. Select this hand left. Let's select puppet and go to window open duke basil 2 then click this rigging icon and when we select this puppet click add bones okay select this puppet pin 3 parent puppet pin 2 select puppet pin 2 parent to this puppet pin 1 and select puppet pin 1 let's parent to this body and select the three puppets for left hand and go to do it, click auto rig IK. Okay, we have controller. Let's say controller. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Good. And let's unsolo all these layers. Select this body, press air. Let's see. Okay, good. So select this hand right. Select this puppet engine. And go to click add bones. Let's select this puppet pin 3. Parent puppet pin 2, select puppet pin 2, parent puppet pin 1, and select this puppet pin 1. Let's pair onto this body and select these three puppets. Go to click auto rig IK. Okay, let's select controller. Let's see. Okay, good. So let's close the rig and select these puppet pins. And let's click this icon and click this icon for hide all layers. Okay, nice. Then let's select this body. Let's press L. Let's see how to work it. Okay, very nice. So, in this time, let's go to project and right mouse, import, file. Let's import our PNG layers. Let's select this lip sync one. This is more file and click import. Let's move the inside our composition this move file and move to here press s change scale okay move to here and press r change rotation and move to here then select these lips and hide layer okay let's change scale again 16 let's see okay good then select these lips and pair onto this body and select this lips, right mouse, go to time and time stretch. Change time stretch 200. Click OK. Let's see. Okay, very good. Let's right mouse time and stretch. Change 150. Click OK. And change scale again 12. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's press R, change rotation like this. 
and move to here nice so let's make random hand and random body heat shape frames select this heat press air go to here five shape frames make rotation shape frame and go to 10 shape frame for shortcut you can use hold shape press page done in the keyboard and let's change rotation like this go to here make new rotation shape frame and go to 10 shape frame again change rotation like this and select shape frames make easy let's see okay good select shape frames again ctrl c let's go to here ctrl v and select work area five seconds let's see okay so in this time let's go to here and hold shape press p make new passing shape frame and go to center let's move to down this here let's zoom to object move to down let's see and go to last shape frame select first shape frame Control c Control v select shape frames make easy let's see this is bones effect nice select the three passing shape frames Control c and go to here Control v and here Control v and here Control v let's see okay that's good so select this body let's press air and go to here make rotation keyframe frame and go to five keyframes. frames chain rotation like this select keyframes, frames make easy let's see okay go to here make new rotation keyframe. frame go to five keyframes. frames chain rotation three or two okay good and make rotation shape frame again go to here change minus two and finally go to here make new rotation shape frame go to last shape frame change zero let's see okay this is dynamic talking animation not bad so again let's add bones effect for this body let's go to here and hold shift press p make new passing shape frame and go to here let's move to down this body let's see okay let's move to down like this and go to last shape frame select first shape frame ctrl c ctrl v select shape frames make easy let's see okay that's good Select the three chain frames, control C, go to here, control V, hold Alt, move to right. Again, go to here, control V, hold Alt, move to right. And finally, go to here, control V, hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, in this time, let's select this hand controller and press p make new passing shape frame go to 10 shape frame let's move to down and go to here make new passing shape frame go to five shape frames and let's move to up this is random shape frames you can make your shape frames how to like you let's see okay go to here make new passing shape frame go to five shape frames let's move to up and move to down and go to here make new passing chain frame go to five chain frames select first chain frame control c control v let's see okay very nice and let's select this controller go to here press p make new passing chain frame go to five chain frames move to like this let's see and in this time make new passing chain frame go to here move to right change quality quarter and here make new passing chain frame go to five chain frames move to left and go to here make new passing chain frame go to five chain frames move to right and finally go to here make new passing keyframe frame go to last keyframe frame 
Select first keyframe, control C, control V. Select keyframes, make easy, ease. change quality full. Let's see. Okay, nice. Very nice. That's good. So let's make some animations for this face. Let's select this eye white and control D for duplicate. Then click eyeball. Let's move to center these two layers and change none to alpha matte. If you notice this part, click toggle switch modes. Okay. Then select eyeballs and change none to alpha matte eye white too. Then select this eye white too. Pair onto this eye white. Select this eye white. Press S. Click this icon and go to here. Make scale shape frame and go to 3 shape frame 1 to 3. Change scale 5. Go to 3 shape frame again 1 to 3. Change 100. Select shape frames make easy. Let's select shape frames Ctrl C and let's see. Nice. And go to here. Let's control V. Let's see. Okay, and go to here. Control V again. Nice. And finally control V again here. Let's see. Okay, good. So select this eyeball and let's in this time press P, make new passing chain frame and go to two chain frame. Move to right. Okay, and make new passing chain frame. Go to two chain frame again. Let's move to here. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, go to here. Make new passing chain frame for eyeball and go to two chain frame. One, two. Let's move to here. Let's see. Okay, say chain frames. Move right. Let's see. Okay, and make new passing key frame. Go to two key frame. Move to like this. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And in this time, go to here. Make new passing key frame. And go to two key frame. Move to up. Let's see. Let's say key frames. Move to right. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.